Davis, welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase. Today we're talking how to get a price realignment. And to be honest, I hate the word price realignment because when you say that, people think that we are there to push the vendors down, squeeze them, condition them, and make them accept the price so that we can sell fast. I hate that concept, but there is, there is wisdom in that word because sometimes the vendor is just about the markets. Yeah. And our job as a professional with integrity is to make them understand what the market is. If it's enough, they'll take the price. If we are sitting 200 grand above the, price, above the market, then we're not giving the advice that they need to make an informative decision. Well, we're not helping them, right? And, and it's not about being liked. It's all about being respected and giving them the facts and then they can move on with their lives. So sometimes people are not helping them. You know, it's that classic cliche of, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm, you've hired me to tell you what you need to know. And this is where the people that are selling at the moment are selling in the market. I look at your sales board here, Diego, stuff's still going. Auctions are still getting withdrawn and sold. So the only reason, it's like you guys, right? We sell a lot of property. So the only reason why you're not selling is you're not taking our good advice. Because I've never met a vendor who blames the agent or the agency for not selling. And it's you know all I mean? about advice, right? <laughs> it's all about advice. Look, I had this, we, we just canceled an auction a couple of days ago. The first offer is the best offer. That's what people normally say, right? And that's in, in my pre-sale video, I, some, I say that sometimes it's the best offer. The first offer was 10 grand below what they wanted. And my advice was, hey, with this level of interest, let's wait a second. Six days later, sold for 55K above yeah. what that happy price was, yes. right? But it's, it's obviously, that's the perfect scenario when the market is overachieving, but now we're talking about price readjustment. Now, what is a price readjustment conversation? How would you structure it in front of a vendor, say the property is worth around a million, and you know they've got a price, they want to advertise it at 1.2 to try to get more than that. And obviously that's not going to work, because in the words of Peter Walker, um, if the price, if, if the agent is not allowing you to um, understand if it's a good offer or not, having a price that is really high is definitely not going to get you there. So what would, how would you order? How would you script it? With well, a well there, are, there are so many situations, right? And it just comes back to respect mm -hmm. and going, here's an opportunity and I want to help you move on. The, my best one in helping good people move on is what's more important, the move or the money? If you're concentrating on the money, then you're not selling in today's market because you're not in that reaction zone where buyers are responding. There's no such thing as a perfect house, chat to chat to chat. Mm. So it's being honest around those things, around what's sold and going, right, is this a number you can live with or are you prepared to wait? Because at the moment, Diego, you are the best buyer for your property and you are effectively buying your property back from the market. The second best buyer at this point in time is at these levels. So I'm better off telling you now versus following the movie and the market down or dealing with conditional offers, chat, 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 chat. My only words of advice to a vendor that is pricing 200 grand above where the market is, is that by pricing the property at that price, you're going to be helping your competitors, your competition at selling, because you're obviously based on what's selling you well above it. And they're going to use you, use you as a reference point to buy the one down the road because it's priced within the reaction zone. Good. But hey, all you can do is lead the horse to the water. If the horse <laughs> ain't thirsty, even the best water in the world is not going to be and appealing. don't avoid the conversations, right? That's the hard one. Don't avoid the conversations. Go towards it, front foot it. In today's market, the words of Peter Walker. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Cut to the chase. <laughs>